Hello, my name is Wendy Medore and I'm a picture book writer and today I'm going to be reading you a story called Lugna and Pebble and I did the words and a brilliant artist called Daniel Igneus did the pictures and it's published by Oxford University Press and I wrote this book because I was a bit sad about what I was seeing on the news and I was watching lots of things about children who didn't have a home all over the world and they were having to go through dangerous um, journeys to try and find somewhere better to live. So I wrote this story called Lugna and Pebble. And I'm going to show you this first page because I love the picture so much. And you can see all those people on that colourful boat travelling across the huge waves in the ocean. Look how many people there are on that boat. Now, start off the page, it's a very close-up picture of Lubna. There she is, look. Lubna's best friend was a pebble. It was shiny and smooth and grey. Lubna found it on the beach when they arrived at night. Then she fell asleep in Daddy's salty arms. When Lubna opened her eyes, it was morning and they had landed in the world of tents. Lubna clutched Daddy's hand and gripped her pebble. Somehow, she knew they'd keep her safe. In a big white tent, Lubna found a felt-tip pen. She drew a happy face on her pebble. Hello, pebble, whispered Lubna. Pebble smiled back. Lubna told Pebble everything about her brothers, about home, about the war. Pebble always listened to her stories. Pebble always smiled when she felt scared. I love you, Pebble, sighed Lubna. You see, there's all her memories of the planes and playing with her brothers when times were better. Then the winter arrived, the winds began to blow, the tents began to flap. Daddy said, come close, I'll keep you warm. But Lubna was worried. What if Pebble gets a cold? She asked. That must never happen, said Daddy. He went and found a shoebox and a tea towel. Thank you, Lubna grinned. Look, see, Pebble's got a home now. She put Pebble to bed and kissed it goodnight. Soon a little boy arrived. At first he had no words, just blinks and sneezes and stares. Look, see, this is how he's feeling. Look, it's a very dark tree. He feels like that inside. This is my best friend Pebble, Lubna said. The little boy coughed and sneezed. Then he smiled. Hello, Pebble. My name's Amir. Lubna and Amir became friends. They played hide and seek underneath the stars. But at bedtime, Lubna whispered to Pebble, You are still my best friend. One day, Daddy was beaming. We are leaving. We have found a new home. Lubna felt happy, then sad. Amir cried. That night Lubna couldn't sleep. She asked Pebble what to do. Pebble did not answer, but by the morning Lubna knew. Lubna gave Amir the shoebox and the pen. What do I do if Pebble misses you? asked Amir. Draw the smile back on, said Lubna. And what do I do if I miss you? Tell Pebble all about it. Lubna said. Amir nodded and held the shoebox tight. Look, can you see he's starting to feel better? There's flowers coming out. There's little Lubna, look, at the top here. Can you see her? Goodbye, Pebble, Lubna whispered. She goes off in her big boat. 
Hello, Pebble. Amir said. I hope Pebble looks after Amir, don't you? And I hope he finds a home soon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story about Lugna and Pebble and Amir. Thank you for listening. Bye.